bought this t-shirt like a month ago and i've been like dying to use it ever since in a video yeah i think you're good to go let's go hey guys my name is shubham and i grew up at a time when the internet was still catching up in india and we would connect to the internet using these dongles they used to come in the form of tata photon plus kind of makes me nostalgic but that's not the point the point is whenever we would have some sort of argument with either our siblings or friends we would resolve them by thinking the other person is like completely wrong or by referring to these big encyclopedias i wonder who has them these days anyway these days google boasts of you know going through 5 billion pages in a matter of just half a second and if you're a person who has thought about how this google work you have come to the right place because we at elemental in this very episode are going to talk about just that now if you love this series you might want to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you know exactly when we put out our latest videos While we take search engines for granted these days, the internet in its initial years didn't offer a way to search pages. You actually had to know the domain of a website to access it, and even worse, type it all out every single time. Because of this and several other convenience issues, the idea of a search engine was born. As more and more people started using the internet and more websites started popping up, The need for better methods of tracking websites was heavily felt and so some coders developed bot programs called web crawlers or spiders. These basically scan the internet for links and content information like keywords, titles, synonyms, ratings, relevancy, authenticity, credibility, spam content and access frequency or how frequently a website was being accessed. Organizing stuff in all of these parameters and more created a web of indexes which could then be searched with a search bar but creating a database isn't quite enough because you would also want the search results to be relevant for instance if i search for a gaming mouse i want to know what's a gaming mouse not a gaming mouse this was done with the help of coders software engineers even mathematicians and nowadays with the help of ai They constantly come up with new algorithms to find the most important pieces of data that are related to a user's search. The engine looks out for the search terms you have searched in the past, their sequence and all the other things that I have mentioned before in a page's title, headline, description, contents, and even photo and video file names. It then prioritizes them on the basis of what it thinks you are most likely looking for, and that's exactly how you get balanced search results that are also relevant another thing that puts one website on top of another is how much it gets backlinked on the internet backlinking basically means how many other pages or websites have links that can redirect a user to your page or website the idea is if a lot of websites think that a web page is interesting chances are it might be the one that you are looking for this is called page rank and there's a reason why the p is capital because it's named after larry page who's the co-founder of google and not a page now searches would be totally trash if they took an eternity to display results that's exactly why google and every other search engine out there doesn't necessarily search the entire world wide web in real time when you ask for something to make things faster search engines constantly scan the web in advance This helps them record the information that you might search later. This is the indexing that I talked about earlier. Websites often make a lot of money when you visit them and that is something everyone wants to exploit including spammers. Spammers try to mess around with the search engine's algorithm in order to make their pages rank higher. This is exactly why search engines keep updating their algorithms. but a lot of times content websites get stuck in this crossfire and as a result of that they lose a lot of page views and hence a lot of money now search engines taken a lot of your data without you actually knowing about it like the 
In an ideal world, this would have been because the more a search engine knows about you, the better searches it would have been able to deliver to you. Just like that friend of yours who somehow finishes all the sentences that you are trying to speak. Now, a lot of times ads turn up in your searches as well. Remember I said websites make money when you visit them? That's because they also display ads and it's often the primary source of revenue. Not just a website's revenue, Google's revenue. Now the whole cash in cash out debate is like really complicated and I don't want to delve into that in this episode but you can jump down in the comments and let me know if you want me to make a video on that. And that was it for this episode of Elemental. If you like this video hit like if you didn't well you know what to do and new Elemental videos come out every Sunday at 1 p.m. so you might want to reconsider subscribing to our channel and for all things tech log on to gadgets360.com.